Dad, it's totally nuking at the Garden City Pier. We gotta go to the quiver. Stop top fish, nah. Gator, nah. Perfection number one, nah. Perfection number two, nah. Oh, the wave bandit. this new board from super brand it's a fish model it actually has no name so right now I'm just calling it El Fisho it's a 5.4 by 20 and an eighth by 2.67 33 liters of volume I have not ridden it yet I just waxed it up and I'm gonna take it out the waves aren't Are you kidding me right now the waves aren't spectacular right now, but uh, there's a little swell in the water. There's a couple wedges. I think it's enough to test a new fish. Obviously, I haven't been surfing a lot, so I'm stoked to get on it right now. I'm rocking these. I bought this set of quad fins from Heritage. They were about $120. They're stretch, honeycomb future quad, size large, and uh, they fit in the board. They look pretty sick, so I'm thinking uh, it's gonna be a match made in heaven. I'm gonna go try this thing and uh, talk about it as the session goes on so let's go catch a couple waves test out the new super brand fish let's go all right grindy little sash but it's gonna go down nothing like the feel of a new board absolutely stoking definitely some fun little waves Woo. feels good to get out of the house it's been heavy i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about Woo.
right, fresh off the top of my head, cumulative review. The El Fisho started off a little weird. I decided to ride it quad. It's definitely a board that I think I was supposed to go surf another wave and the tide ended up being high and I don't know, the swell was a little weird. So I ended up just surfing out here and um, I just feel like this wave is a little too forgiving. Like this board needs a more vertical face and a bullier wave and then it would really shine. So when I got those sections where like I could get the speed and like zip into something, the board started working really well. And I can say like in the times when those couple little barrels I got, like barrels are some of the most rail technical stuff that you ever have to do while surfing. So like those barrels, the board I didn't like, it worked no questions, no hesitation. I didn't have to think about what I was doing. I didn't have to make any adjustments. I just paddled in, dropped in, pulled in, the board held rail perfectly. It drove me through the wave. It was just like in the flat sections of the wave. I had to start figuring out like where I needed to put my weight. Like I needed to put my weight more forward. Whereas with a wider tail, you can put your weight um, more on the tail and still carry speed over flat sections. But overall for a three feet at six second swell, which is not much, the board performed really, really well. I actually got some fun waves. So I'm super stoked about it and I can't wait to try it out in a bullier, more bully conditions. So yes, yeah, so far that is the first look at the El Fisho from Superbrand. I don't think they're going to call it the El Fisho, but yeah, I can't wait to get it in more, uh, more bully surf overall. Um, it was fun. Super fun. People of Earth, this might be one of the biggest announcements in history. I have received in the mail maybe one of the biggest packages I've ever received. This lady on the back. If you guys can guess what this is, Guess in the comment section below what's in this package. Ready? Set. Go. Go. Guess. Go. Go. Comment. Guess. Comment. 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 Right now. Right now. Next 20 seconds. You gotta guess. You guys gotta guess or I'm not gonna open it. You oh my god. Not gonna open it. Not gonna what it. is it? What is it? I don't know. Do y'all know? Oh, uh, don't open it. Wait till later. Come on. Put it down. Wait till later. Yeah, yeah. Psych. This is what it is. <laughs> oh my god. Nintendo Entertainment System built in with 620 games. And y'all said quarantine sucked. Let's go. 28 bucks. 28 bucks. Link in the description below. <laughs> Half the price. <laughs> I wish I was promoting this thing. <laughs> Half the price of a yoga mat. Do you remember this? I know you remember this. And if you don't remember this, your dad does. Your dad does. Yeah, that's how old you are. All right, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. Do we even have the right thing? I mean, we're gonna find out. You have to just change, where's the other clicker? <laughs> this is a little lit. You pick what game to play. Because look, no, get that crab. Go, go, go. I, I'm done. Get oh. that crab. No, you can't. You're not done. You're right up there. Wait, does it move, Ben? How are you yes, he does. You walk off the things. Oh. <laughs> you got to get these guys twice. So what do you do? You They're stuff? vicious. He look, look, look. Bang. Luigi game over. All right, hold on. Ah! I never liked the crabs. <laughs> when I got to the crabs, I, I'd always just give up. They're not fun. I want to play this again. again. Do you want to play this again? Yeah. I didn't get a good enough fair chance. Alright guys, today we're heading back to the beach with a different surfboard. Today I'm going to be taking out the Super Brand Fling. This board, just like the fish, is designed for knee to head high surf. The difference between the fling is all in the tail. The tail of the fling is wide and flat. So today we're gonna to be comparing the fish-shaped tail to the wide, flat tail in waist-high surf and see what we get.
little smaller but pretty similar conditions to yesterday so i'm gonna give, have a really good opportunity to compare the boards and uh the wind's a little more onshore today so it makes it choppier but there's definitely some waves and uh yeah the dream is real let's do it i gotta switch the fins and we're out there Pew. all right to make this comparison like 100% fair, I'm gonna switch out the quad set of stretch fins that I had in the fish here, these pink ones, and I'm gonna put them in the unit, and then we're gonna go surfing. I saw a couple rights in the spot. Otherwise, eh. <laughs> pretty heavy. All right, so this is the fling. If you can tell, this tail is like super wide, super flat. Quad set. This board is a 5.4, same as the other one, 20, 2.61, and 32 liters of volume. So. Pretty similar idea to it's a small wave board and uh, we're gonna take this thing out and compare it to the fish that we rode yesterday and I'll have a synopsis for you. Dreamers. Yo.
tooth. Oh, you want to see my tooth? All right. Isn't it weird? Isn't oh it weird? my God. You see that, right? Yeah. Isn't it's... it weird? Because I have like, my gums aren't f***ed up, my lips aren't f***ed up, there's no blood. How'd you do it? I don't know. I actually, can might happen in my sleep. You chipped your tooth in your sleep? Like, I, I was drinking yesterday, but I, I remember everything. Dude. <laughs> I don't think I did, dude. But that's weird how there's no blood, you know what I mean? Or anything. Besides Let me the see it. Really, besides the chip. That's it. Lips are fine. Holy sh Isn't that wild? Yeah. Filmer update, Mackie lost a tooth. <laughs> Whatever though, just gotta wait for everything to open back up and I'll get it fixed. Hopefully it's not too long. All right guys, I've been sitting here, I've been watching my footage, I just finished editing my vlog, and I thought that by the time I got done with this, I'd have a clear, concise winner out of these two boards. Um, both five fours, both small wave boards, one's a fish, one is a fling. So like my final synopsis is I would say I got better barrels on the fish, but the waves were bigger. I did two maneuvers on the fish that I think were actually more proper than anything that I landed on the fling. However, for overall performance, I think the fling carried more speed and allowed me to do more maneuvers by keeping me on the waves longer um, because it's a little bit wider in the tail and just it, I think it just works across the flat sections a little better. That being said, I think the fish allowed me to go on rail more. So these boards both have a lot of benefits. At the end of the day, as a consumer, for an overall surfboard, I would go with the fling. It's really tough to say because the fish definitely had some really sick stuff going on. It allowed me to wrap into those pockets. It kept me on rail and it held me in the wave when I needed it to. So it's really tough to say, um, but I think the fling's gonna take the win today. Just because like it just floated over certain sections and helped me carry a lot more speed and just allowed me to do more overall maneuvers. But it was really, really hard. And I think both boards in the quiver are definitely beneficial. Like I'm happy that I have both of them. So let me know what you guys thought. Super fun to like compare these two boards. Really fun to get out in the water a couple times. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments section which board you liked, why you liked it, um, what you would like to see. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to see me do anything else like this. On top of that, we are still on the quest for 100,000 subscribers. We just hit 97.6, I believe. And we are full throttle on the way to 100K. So thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. Snub Nation for the win. And I will see you next vlog. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe down below. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you next vlog for the dream.